In our food segment called today's main course, a woman who will forever be known as the Yakamane Lady, Linda Green, is now working on something new. It's a Bloody Mary mix that she's called Yakamary. We visited with her the other day to get the story behind her latest project and found out it's been years in the making. Linda Green has been selling her Yakamane at fairs and festivals for years. Hers is special because of the secret seasonings in a dish that's been a favorite here in New Orleans for as long as any of us can remember. Her newest creation is actually something she's been working on for a very long time, a Bloody Mary mix. What made you start thinking about Bloody Marys? I mean, that has nothing to do with Yakamane, does it? Yes, it does. Of course it does, just like <laughs> I said. Yes, it does. It's the seasoning. Okay. That's what it is. It's the seasoning that's in the uh, Bloody Mary mix and uh, yes I've been working on it for many years and now uh, we're getting ready to launch it we was getting ready to do it before the pandemic hit. Linda's hoping she can get her Yakamary on the market soon she's been working with a food scientist at Holy Cross College to make that happen actually her Bloody Mary mix has already won several awards one of the reasons Linda's Yakamary has some of the same seasonings as her Yakamane well, Linda, now that we're socially distanced and I'm ready for an interview, because this is how I get ready for an interview. Oh, Let's ooh. talk about how you make a yakamari. Well, I pull, what I first do, I pull my vodka into my container. And then I pull my yakamari juice. Well, now let's talk about your yakamari juice. It's a Bloody Mary juice. This is a secret recipe that you've developed. How many years did it take to develop your recipe. Oh my God, it's been like, I say about 15, about 15 years. You've been working on this this long? Yeah, I just, you know, but I never put it out. Okay. And I just started, you know, I said, well, let me try. What makes this similar to, to the Yakamane or, or gives it the, the, the relevance to our Yakamane? Well, it's the seasoning, my Yakamane seasoning. And that's what you rim the glass and with? And that's what I rim my glass with. Now, is there, is there some Yakamane seasoning in the actual Bloody Mary mix? Yes, it is. Okay, yes. so that's part of the secret recipe. That is it. Okay. Rim my glass. Well, rim my cup. And once I rim my cup, I pour my Bloody Mary mix. And how many times did you... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, sorry. I forgot something. I want oh, to... Shake it up a little, shake yeah. Shake it up and make sure that you know, everybody get what they want to get, and that's that taste. With that, Linda's Yakamary is about to hit the market. I am with Dr. Darrell Holliday at Holy Cross College and his students, and they are helping me to launch this product out. Linda, like most people in the food business, has had a tough time during the pandemic. She's gotten by picking up a few jobs here and there. And I appreciate all of that because it really was hard very hard because I miss my festival. Yeah. You know, I do all festivals. Well, that's the first place that I ran into you and your Yaka, Mary, but that was over a year ago. Right. And then I just, I started thinking, you know, I haven't talked to Linda in a long time. I wonder how her Yaka, Mary is doing. And I gave you a call. And you gave me a call, and while you gave me a call, I had just got off the phone with Dr. Darrell Holiday, and we just ordered the uh, bottles and the tops, and we're getting ready to launch this Bloody Mary Yakamari. It's almost like fate drew us it together. Was. And Linda, who is not a drinker, said on that note, I'm gonna drink one. <laughs> maybe just one. Mm. And this was the moment Miss Linda fell off the wagon. This is the, <laughs> I love it, I love it. But this thing is so good. It's good, the spice around is really It is good. She said she used to drink people under the table. Uh, actually, her Bloody Mary mix uh, has, has got all the bases covered. Yakamane is also called Old Sober as a cure for a hangover. So if you have one too many Yakamaries, her Yakamane may be just what the doctor ordered, Sheba. Yes, this is so cool. I love it. And you tasted it. You say it's yummy. Oh, it's very good. I, I, I was at a festival. This is way, uh, way before uh, the pandemic hit. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, um, I saw Linda and I had some Yakamane and she says, you gotta try this Bloody Mary mix. And I did, it was great. And I said, well, I'll give you a buzz and a year and a so later, <laughs>
mm. uh, we got it going. That's so cool. I also love that she says she's using the seasoning from her yakamine, which is so well known yes. now in the Bloody Mary mix. Yes. So if you like one, you'll like the other. And I asked her, I said, how do you say yakamine? She goes, sometimes yakamine, sometimes yakamine. I was yaka about to say, yeah, we even say it different ways. Sometimes yakamine. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard yakamine, yakamine, which is like what I say. You melaton, say yakamine. Yeah. yeah. It is All what right, it is. Let's get over to Peyton. How do you say it? No, I, did you bring us any? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, Go that's how he says it. Yeah, all right. I got a minute here. <laughs> when it's over, I want it.